Hi everyone, this is Miss Maddie here. Welcome to November's Harvest of the Month lesson. Today in our lesson, you'll be following along with some parts that I'm gonna do over the video, and then you'll also be working with your classmates and your teacher or your adult at home to do some fun hands-on parts of the lesson. So, before we dive in to learn all about winter squash, let's talk about what all Harvest of the Month items have in common. Now, every month there's a new Montana Harvest of the Month item. Can you remember what every Harvest of the Month item has in common? If you are thinking that all Harvest of the Month items are grown or raised in Montana, you're correct. Everything that we'll talk about in our Harvest of the Month lessons is either grown in our state of Montana or raised here, like cattle are raised in Montana. The second thing that all Montana Harvest of the Month items have in common is that they're all healthy for our bodies in some way. Some of them might have protein to give us strong muscles. Some of them might have vitamin A to help our eyes and our skin. But all of our Montana Harvest of the Month items are healthy for our bodies in some way. So that's why it's so fun to do our Harvest of the Month lessons, to learn about things that are good for our bodies and things that are grown in our state. Okay, for the first part of our lesson, to introduce you to our beautiful winter squash Harvest of the Month, we are going to start with a true or false game. Now, the way this game will work, I am going to read a statement to you. Then your teacher or your adult at home will pause the video and you need to think, is that statement true or is it false? Then when you click play, I'll tell you. Are you ready to hear the first true or false question? Teachers and adults get ready to pause the video. All right, first statement. Squash, like most orange veggies, has a ton of vitamin A, which is good for your eyes and your skin. If you said true, you're correct. Squash, like most orange veggies, has a ton of vitamin A. That's why it's so good for us to eat. It keeps our skin glowing and it keeps our eyes strong. All right, ready for our next statement? There are not many ways that you can cook squash. If you said false to that question, you are correct. There actually are a ton of ways that we can cook winter squash. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a little cooking show where I prepare one of our winter squashes so that you can do that at home. Next true or false statement. Hmm. Squash has lots of vitamin A, but not very many other vitamins. If you answered false to that one, you are correct. Squash does have a lot of vitamin A, like we said, for our eyes and our skin. But squash also has vitamin C. Vitamin C has this symbol in our lessons. Does anybody remember this symbol? We say, cuh, 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 vitamin C. This X symbolizes that vitamin C helps block germs, and that is super important right now. So winter squash has vitamin A, vitamin C. It also has a lot of Potassium. Can you do it with me? Put your hand over your heart and let's say it together. Potassium. That symbolizes that potassium is good for keeping our hearts healthy. Winter squash has a ton of potassium, vitamin A, and vitamin C. All right, we have one more true or false statement left. Winter squash is called winter squash because it can be stored in your cellar or basement during the winter months or in any cool, dry place. No refrigeration required. Is that true or is it false? Do we need to refrigerate these? Can they last in our basement or in our cellar without a refrigerator? Think about it. That is true. Winter squash are called storage crops. Can you say it with me? Storage crops. That means that they can store for a really long time without refrigeration. 
So these winter squash can be put into a cool, dry place and they will last for months and months all through the winter. And that's where they get their name winter squash. All right, friends, now for the hands-on part of your Harvest of the Month lesson. Your teacher has some squash for you to explore today. And I would love you to explore this squash by using predictions, estimation, and counting. So your teacher is going to help you cut these squash open. You are going to first predict the amount of seeds you think will be inside the squash. Now a prediction is basically a guess. So you are going to guess how many seeds are inside of those winter squash. For example, take this butternut squash here. My prediction is that there will be 50 seeds inside the butternut squash. And I'm going to write that in my science journal or on a piece of paper. prediction on my board. I predict the butternut squash will have 50 seeds. Now you may be using a delicata squash or a buttercup squash. You might even be using a butternut squash. All of these are winter squash, even though they look a little bit different. Go ahead and pause the video and make your prediction in your science journal or on your piece of paper about your winter squash. Okay, now that we've all made our predictions, it's time for you to work with your classmates and your teacher or your adult to complete the rest of the activity. So I'm going to walk you through the next few steps and then you're gonna pause the video and do it with your classmates or with your adults at home. The next Part of our activity involves cutting open the squash, making an estimation based on what we see, and then actually counting the seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and cut open this butternut squash here. Remember, you should always have an adult present when you are cutting winter squash, and winter squash is really, really challenging to cut, so you might just want to have an adult do it all the time. All right, here we go. Friends, if you cut a pumpkin open for Halloween to make into a jack-o'-lantern, well, pumpkins are also kinds of winter squash. But, rip it open. Oh. Okay, kind of didn't open all the way, but luckily butternut squash has the seeds only in the bottom of the squash. So, what I would do now, if I was doing a lesson with you in the classroom, is just peek inside this squash and make an estimate or an educated guess based on what I see about how many seeds I think are in here. So, my estimate is going to be about, I think there are closer to 100 seeds in there. So After that, the next step is for you to actually get your fingers in this slippery, slimy squash and pull the seeds out and then count them. So pause the video and go ahead. Prepare to get slimy and count those seeds. Have fun!
Okay friends, how did we do? Were you able to count all the seeds? Were your predictions and your estimates correct? Mine was close. I predicted that there would be 50. Once I cut my squash open, I made an estimate that there were about 100 seeds in there. And after I counted, I learned that there are actually 136 seeds inside of this butternut squash. So I was a little bit off, but kind of close. I wonder if you were as close as I was. I hope you enjoyed predicting and estimating and getting to count those seeds in your winter squash. And I hope that you'll remember that winter squash is really good for our bodies because it's loaded with vitamin A, vitamin C to block those germs, and potassium, right? Now, I'm closing out our lesson with a little video of me preparing some winter squash. And I prepared the winter squash just by roasting it in the oven. And I like to eat roasted winter squash. Well, I like to eat it plain, but you can also cook it into a sauce for over noodles, or it can be a side dish with some chicken and some vegetables, whatever you want to do. And if you end up using our roasted squash recipe, I would love to hear all about it. Send me an email or talk to your teacher and get in touch with me. Tell me how you prepared your winter squash at home. friends thank you so much for joining me for our november harvest of the month lesson i'll see you next month with another harvest of the month item bye